Over 11 million people worldwide suffer from severe burns every year. These burns can lead to long hospital stays, permanent disability, social stigmatization, and disfigurement. The current gold standard treatment for this type of injury is a split thickness skin graft. So this involves taking a piece of skin from a healthy, uninjured part of the body and transplanting it to the injured site. Fortunately, the donor site will heal completely. However, the recipient site, even after healing, will not look or feel like normal skin. It can be extremely itchy, there's a lot of scarring, and it doesn't have the same number of skin appendages as normal skin. So this includes things like hair follicles, sweat glands, and nerve endings. So one approach that has been proposed to help with this is the use of skin-derived precursor cells, or SCPs. So what are SCPs? SCPs are a type of dermal stem cell that are found in the hair follicles of adult skin. The hope is that by integrating these cells alongside the graft, they would help promote the regeneration of skin appendages and lead to better outcomes for these burn patients. There are well-established protocols to grow these cells in a laboratory setting. So as you can see here on the right, they can be grown in a static tissue culture flask or dish. And when these cells grow, they form spherical clumps of cells or aggregates. However, in order to get this to a clinical setting, there's a bottleneck. Imagine for a second that you have a really good recipe for chocolate cake. By mixing all the ingredients together in the right way and all the right ingredients together, you can get a really good product if you follow the instructions properly. But what happens if you now have a friend who comes to you and says, this is a really good recipe, but what I want is to have a party. Can you make a thousand chocolate cakes for me by tomorrow morning? So this is a big problem. What you need is a different method so that you can produce a large amount of product in a very short period of time without compromising the quality. And so this is the same thing we need for the skip cells. So my project involves growing these cells in a stirred suspension bioreactor in order to produce a large number of the cells in a short period of time and maintain their high therapeutic quality. And so these bioreactors offer several advantages. It's much easier to control important process parameters such as the pH, temperature, or oxygen content, which all contribute to the cell growth. And so we hope to be able to develop a protocol which results in a more homogeneous cell population and also helps reduce labor and operating costs. So by establishing this protocol to grow the skips in a stirred suspension bioreactor, we hope to take this process one step closer to becoming a clinical reality. Thank you.